Scientists have just discovered that psilocybin, the psychedelic compound in magic mushrooms, can literally rewire our brain. And the implications are enormously important. My friends, I am truly convinced that we are on the cusp of a revolution, of a breakthrough in the entire field of mental health care and beyond when it comes to psychedelic assisted therapy. Now, it's no secret that psilocybin has incredible potential to treat depression, anxiety, and a range of mental health issues. But what if I told you that this psychedelic compound can literally grow new neurons in your brain? That's all according to this recent study from Yale University. In this video, I'll share some of the astonishing discoveries from this research and why this knowledge is crucial for understanding the true power of psychedelic plant medicines. If you stick with me here, I think you'll agree by the end of this video that psychedelics right now are poised to legitimately revolutionize the entire field of mental health and help millions of people all around the globe. So let's dive in. What's up, my friends? Welcome back to a channel dedicated to psychedelic education and consciousness exploration. My name is Jonas, and over the past five years, I've been working full-time in the field of psychedelic-assisted therapy. During that time, I've had the privilege of personally facilitating thousands of psychedelic journeys, and truly, it never ceases to amaze me just how profoundly transformative a single psychedelic experience can be when used in a safe and supportive setting. But I love seeing research just like this because it provides a deeper understanding of how psychedelic medicines actually help us heal and change. So let's dive into this study. In 2021, a team of researchers at Yale University conducted a groundbreaking study to investigate how psilocybin affects the brain at a neurological level. They administered a single dose of psilocybin to mice and used a laser scanning microscope to observe and monitor changes in real time. And what they observed was one of the most remarkable findings from the entire field of psychedelic research because almost immediately, within just 24 hours, the researchers noted a rapid increase in neural growth and the number and size of dendritic spines, the tiny structures that allow neurons in the brain to communicate. In fact, they found that a single dose of psilocybin led to a 10% increase in the size and number of neuronal connections. That's within 24 hours, within one day of administering psilocybin. But what's even more amazing is that these changes were sustained. A month later, the researchers noted that these changes in the brains of these mice were still present. I mean, it's truly impressive that a single dose could lead to such rapid and sustained changes in the brain structure of these mice. The lead researcher, Dr. Alex Kwan stated, it was a real surprise to see such enduring changes from just one dose of psilocybin. These new connections may be the structural changes the brain uses to store new experiences. I think that really highlights just how important these findings are because this study proves just how profoundly psilocybin creates transformation on a neurophysiological level. Really the key conclusion here is that psilocybin doesn't just create temporary shifts in our perception, it literally rewires the brain for long-term healing. And this helps to explain some of the incredible outcomes that we've seen from research into psilocybin as a treatment for depression. I mean, I've shared in previous videos that according to research, after two doses of psilocybin, 80% of people report clinically significant reduction in their symptoms of depression, and 60% of people after two doses are in full remission. Their depression is gone. We know from research that neuroplasticity and neurogenesis are directly linked to learning, to memory, to overall cognitive function, and to mental health. And meanwhile, we also know that chronic depression, stress, and anxiety have been shown to reduce these vital neural connections in the brain.
Given that one in five adults will experience depression or depressive episodes at some point in their lives, this could help millions of people all around the world, and it demands further research and investigation and discussion, and that's exactly what we're here to do. Do you agree with that? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. Please share in the comment section down below. If you could like this video and subscribe to this channel, it goes a long way in helping this community grow. Please also check me out over on Patreon where you can support this work. Thank you so very much, and I'll see you back here very soon.